As the Democrats start their national virtual convention, I have to weigh in on presidential politics. Gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, today the Democrats start their virtual convention, which is no convention at all. It's a gathering of socialists and communists across the country. I'm sure they'll all be wearing masks uh, while they're watching the show. Nobody's going to tune in except the craziest of the crazy. I mean, it's not even a convention. It's a Zoom convention. I mean, you can't make this up. Uh, some more things. How sick is it that Donald Trump's brother dies... And people are wishing, are posting things that they wish Trump would die. Does Twitter, Facebook, or anybody else do anything to them? No! You're allowed to talk about the president you wish he died. And why aren't there people asking all the liberal morons, hey, what do you have to say? And why aren't they beating him up? Oh, they didn't send sympathy to President Trump. I mean, that's what they did to John Lewis. Where is it? And then... On Friday, and this wasn't even covered by the liberal media, an FBI lawyer pled guilty. His name is Kleinsmith. What did he do? Only after Page publicly stated in spring 2017 that he assisted the U.S. government was Mr. Kleinsmith, an FBI assistant general counsel tasked with asking the CIA if this was true. His request to the agency knew the FBI would need to disclose such a fact in our next surveillance renewal. The CIA on June 27th confirmed Mr. Page's CIA service. Yet, Mr. Kleinsman told a supervisory FBI agent the opposite. And he later altered the CIA email to include the words, not a source. Unfreaking believable. Falsified. An FBI, an FBI lawyer, not even an FBI, and this, of course, is what triggers the, it just, oh, it just makes you mad. Finally, I got a comment on the latest poll uh, that was Wall Street Journal that had Biden up nine points. Men, 47, 43 in favor of Trump. Way to go, men. We're just proving that we're still the smartest race. That's a little joke, ladies. Uh, not race, gender. Uh, women, 57, 36. Really? Well, I'll tell you right now, I convinced my wife to vote for Trump. So all of us men, let's just keep up giving them the facts. My wife's voting for Trump. If I can get my wife to vote for Trump, you can get your wife to vote for Trump. Uh, white, 49, 42. This is what cracks me up. Blacks, 88 to 8. Hey, black America. What did you not like about the lowest unemployment in your freaking history? Are you all going to be like, as a race, are you going to blindly vote for the Democratic Party yet again as your black cities burn down? I, I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I can say this. This says a lot about you. Says a lot about you. Hispanic, 5731. What's the matter? You don't like all the things that Trump's done for you? Oh, by the way, back to the black issue. Criminal justice reform wasn't enough for you? You see the disconnect between facts and reality? With, with voting? I mean, it's unbelievable. Uh, ages 18 to 34, 5430. Of course, the most stupid of Americans are voting for Biden. And when I say stupid, I mean, sorry, 18 and 34 year olds, you haven't lived as much as everybody else to know as much as we know. It's just a reality. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just saying it because it's the truth. An 18 year old doesn't know about life and voting the same as a 56 year old. It's just the way it is. Uh, ages 65 or older, uh, Biden, 50, 43. It cracks me up. They don't list the ages 34 to 65. It means Trump must be freaking winning. Independence, 49, 25. Really independence? <laughs> High school, I love this. High score or less, 
54-36. Trump. In other words, your salt of the earth American, who, by the way, oh, uh, they need more, right? You know, and, and, and that, I think that is so telling. And then you get some college, Biden 47-44, college graduate 61-31. The indoctrination of the liberal message in college. Need I say more? That's what that figure is. Postgraduate, 65 to 28 percent. You don't think that it's academic across the country, the indoctrination of the liberal agenda doesn't shine through on that? And guess what? Sorry, folks, Trump's still going to win. This is the Bulldog. Every dog is their day. I hope you have a great day.